Hey everyone, welcome back to the 10th class of uh, uh, Python for ML Enthusiast. Again, this class is brought to you by iOS DU ITK UK. So after we have learnt sets, uh, we have learnt uh, the tuples list. It's time we learn the most important data type of the Python known as the dictionary. We have almost covered all of them like int, float, uh, boolean, string, tuple, uh, uh, unicode and then we have covered list set and today we are going to cover dictionary. So dictionary basically is a mutable type of uh, data type and dictionary in python is an unordered collection of data values used to store values like a map uh, which unlike other data types uh, that uh, hold only single value as an element dictionary can hold values in a key value pair basically it means that uh, in dictionary we have a key and respective to a key we have a value now key is a single value and the value part uh, so basically key is a single data or element while the value for key value for a key is a kind of list again the reference are taken from geeks for geeks slash python dictionary and this uh, is by this article is by uh, Ayushman Bansal. So, thanks to him for this uh, article. You have to refer to class 4a about mutable and unmutable objects for more information. Now, uh, each key value pair uh, in the dictionary is separated by a colon, where, uh, whereas uh, the keys are separated by the comma. So, it is basically written as key and its values. <coughs> Okay, key 1 and its values, then comma, key, uh, key 2 and its values and so on. So, that forms a basic dictionary. So, let us go to our references and check out uh, various operations on the dictionary. So, first operation is creation or declaration of a dictionary. So, the dictionary is very similar to sets in declaration. So, let us declare a dictionary DICT which is equal to simply Wrote, it like, wrote like this and uh, furthermore it is an empty dictionary so we just print empty dictionary now let us add some values and uh, keys so here we are uh, using integer keys like in the references so let us use integer keys but uh, remember that keys can be integer or uh, string or uh, character or anything ok so let us try to form that dictionary is equal to uh, say for example 1 and then colon I add some string hello and comma to separate the second key second key is 2 and world third key is 3 um, it's I'm sorry for the pod apostrophe uh, 4 ok so that is how you declare a simple dictionary uh, like in the example ok let us try to print this dictionary up so if you just write it like print dict print it like the dictionary but if you want to print some say for example particular value you may have you can use basically ok uh, first of all um, print type type DICT it is a DICT class or dictionary class ok ok you can also uh, make it with the mixed keys as I told you so let us see that first so DICT1 let us make some mixed keys up so first key I am going to take is a string key so i and its value is going to be hello uh, this example, these examples basically contain a single value, uh, it can be multiple valued also, we will see uh, it in some time. Second key is an integer type and it contains hello world. Third is basically a character like f and uh, it is again i underscore 1, 2, 3, anything and uh, fourth is say for example something like this, uh, ghu and something 
so it uh, it accepts the float the integer character string anything uh, so it's a basically a multi not multi valued it's basically multi uh, data type or typed uh, basic multi type uh, keys so various kind of keys okay furthermore we have a uh, dictionary like this here we are converting basically uh, a dictionary using dict method you can do that too there is no issue so if you like write it like dict1 or dict2 is equal to uh, dict and you just write the dictionary like this one Now a simple list and uh, simple tuple cannot be directly converted to a dictionary. Uh, you have to have some key values pair for the dictionary, otherwise it will not be defined as a dictionary basically. Okay, so you can print this dictionary. Let's try to print this dictionary again. Print uh, dict2. Dict2. Okay, so it prints the entire dictionary. What else function do we have? Creating dictionary with each item pair as a pair. Okay, you can do it too. Let's do it also. So dict uh, three. So you just use the dict keyword, and then you use the key value pairs in this setup. Okay, so like one comma h or a. Uh, not comma, sorry. Key values are separated by a colon. Then two com uh, two colon b and three colon C and so on. So let's try to run this. Okay, do we need this? No, oh, I'm sorry. This is this has to be a pair. Okay. What's the issue? Okay, in square brackets. In square brackets, um, nope, in square brackets. Oh. So there is some issue. Okay, in this case, we have to uh, separate them with comma only. So you just separate it with comma. But it's of course not very usable because you never have to do that in the case of dictionary. So type casting is not very required in dictionary and it's not very uh, common. It's just given in the reference when I'm explaining it up. What's most important in dictionary is basically this stuff. Okay, you need to understand this that a dictionary may have multiple keys and keys do not have polymorphism. That's uh, that means that a key once created is unique in, inside a dictionary. So if there is a key called one, there cannot be another key called one. Okay, so key may have further keys like nested keys and it may further have a value set so this can be formed easily like for example in this example this example is a good example so let's try to form one ourselves okay so we have a key called one which has a single value like hello and then we have a key called two which further has a dictionary with a key called Mm, say h and uh, the value for h is world ok so uh, this is called a nested uh, kind of uh, key because uh, there is a key and then the value of that key again contains a key and this again may contain a key and so on ok so we are going to print uh, dict4 dict4 and let us try that Okay, so you see, this is known as a uh, nested dictionary. So it can be useful in sometimes, especially in applications of OpenCV. Uh, this is very common to see these kind of uh, dictionaries. Further, we have uh, this is the nested dictionary example. Further, we have adding some elements to dictionary. So if you want to add some element to dictionary, initially you have some uh, say this empty dictionary, 
and then you have uh, you can add like these the values threading element one at a time or you can add a set of uh, values to a single key like this you can add the set okay so in dictionary uh, whenever you write it like dict and square brackets so square brackets mean that you are going to add some uh, you are going to add some uh, keys okay so whatever you add in the square bracket is added as a key so for example if i write dict1 now uh, i need to create an empty dictionary initially dict5 which is equal to an empty dictionary so that's how you basically uh, declare a key declare a declare a dictionary <coughs> okay now if you write a dict5 square bracket so whatever you write in square bracket becomes a key so let me make a key called what should it be called 5 or 4 okay and whatever i write in equals to becomes a uh, list or becomes a value basically so let me add value 1 okay let's add a key 1 again you see that uh, the key can also be a string instead of an integer then you can add a second value so this approach is known as method by method or one by one approach one by one approach and uh, let's copy that up they are going to add two elements here and key 2 uh, is value 2 and done okay print dict5 okay or what you can do is to basically add set of values to a single key it's important you can add a set of values to a single key okay now print oh, i'm sorry so to dict um, key 2 what you add is value 1 not like that value 1 again you can add some in uh, some value of some variable but it needs to be declared uh, for example 2 i add integer and 3.4 i add a float so you observe here that the values can also be multi-type values can also be multi type multi type and what if i print it like this only so if, if i print okay not dict dict5 and this needs to be value 2 let's run that again okay now if i print this up instead of printing the entire entire d print dict5 I get the uh, I get this the values and what if I print its type it's really important to note that down so print type and control V if I print the type of DICT5 key 2 it's a tuple class so that's very important that the values in the in the, in the values of the key inside a dictionary is basically a tuple class okay so um, values of a key Article. Okay, and hence they follow the tuple uh, laws. Basically, you can add values, you cannot uh, remove a value, and so on. You cannot mutate this tuple. Uh, the tuple or the values are immutable, but the dictionary as a whole is Im uh, is mutable, basically. Okay. Now you can of course convert that to a list using the list function which is known as typecasting basically so that was some about something about uh, the dictionary that's how you access the entire dictionary and that's how you access the uh, part of dictionary or you print basically print the values for a particular key okay updating existing keys values so if you do it like this you can update it as i did it here so you see you cannot update a tuple but you can update the value of key so basically you can update inside a dictionary but not inside this uh, this bracket not inside this bracket you cannot update these values but you can update this inside in entire tuple you can replace this entire tuple with another tuple let's try to do that with the so so, can it, so that it can be more clear to you so if i write like dict5 and key2 and i write i take this up uh, copy is equal to control v 
I write like value 2 2 underscore v2 for version 2 uh, 2 becomes 56 and 3.4 becomes um, anything like 3.4 plus 5j a complex number basically and uh, then again I print these two so that was the original tuple and that is the updated tuple now uh, this is why we call dictionary is a mutable object but tuple is not a mutable object okay I hope this is very much uh, very much clear to you that the entire tuple can be replaced that is the entire value set can be replaced but the values inside uh, the or the data inside the value set cannot be replaced or cannot be mutated okay another is adding nested key value to a dictionary so you can again add that uh, that's really easy let's take some nested uh, key like this one copy you can just add that it's fairly easy so I just added DICT5 uh, say for example a new key key 3 key 3 uh, is equal to control V okay. let's print key uh, print uh, DICT5 DICT5 and so you see key 1 this key 2 is a tuple and key 3 is a nested uh, world so this is uh, entire representation for the key you you can see here or oh, let's just change this type also let's make it 2 and let's make this as uh, 2 and this may as 3.3 .3. okay so this will cover the entire dictionary uh, dictionary work here mm. print key 2 2 oh, okay okay I don't need this now let's keep that aside I need this one only I need this and don't need this for now okay neither I need this neither I need this neither I need this okay <coughs> now you see that the key one is a string type and its value is also a string type uh, key 2 is an integer type its values are a tuple type key 3 is a float type and its value is a nested dictionary so that uh, covers the entire reference work so I made a dictionary very general dictionary so it's a general dictionary it's not official term for the uh, such kind of dictionary I'm just calling it general dictionary Co because it uh, covers all the cases again the tuple is multi-valued as the property of tuple is it can be heterogeneous in nature okay again uh, the the polymorphism is not allowed like if I try to make a new key here it will not make a new key rather it will add data to the key so for if example if I try to add or I try to make another key with name called 3.3 .3, you see that it's already repeated but if I try to update this value so I just write this or I just try to write something else okay for example if I write 56 and uh, then I print the dictionary so the value of this uh, pre-existing key is updated rather than creating a new key okay so keys are unique in the dictionary so polymorphism is not allowed polymorphism basically means uh, we have multiple identities of the same thing okay so it's not allowed here in the keys it can be in the case of uh, the values so you can write it like 56 comma 56 comma 56 just put it in a tuple and it will work polymorphism is allowed in the uh, values but it is not allowed in the keys okay furthermore is access accessing elements from the dictionary so if you want to access some uh, element using the key you have to write the name of the key and you can access the element and uh, if you want to uh, get something using this get method which is predefined for dictionary you can get it too also okay let's try some predefined methods for dict as i have to already told you about uh, this part 
how to print the values of a particular key let's try that again so if i write it like print so for example if i want to print the values of particular key 2 so if i write it like print dict 2 sorry dict 5 and in square bracket i write the key name and i press enter run it so it prints the values value set related to the uh, second key the key 2 okay that's how it works i have already shown you that but there is a function called dict 5.get so let's try that what all function does it have it has these functions clear copy from keys get so get is the function we are looking for put the bracket and it will give, give the information so you need we need to add uh, the key k key in dictionary so let's try to get the values for the key called uh, key one let's press enter so for key one the value is value one and that's the output we also have some other functions like items keys pop pop item set default update values etc so some of the important are from keys like for home keys important so what all parameter does it require it requires a type it returns a new dictionary with keys from my table and uh, value equals to values so let's try to give some type like a i n t will it work type object is not callable so we will see an example for that uh, in a bit of time okay coming back to the references removing elements from dictionary you can use pop or delete both are the methods so for example there is a dictionary let me copy that dictionary dict uh, 6 is this dictionary and we want to delete a value a key value pair so we can just use del we write the dict and we just write the key number for example for key a delete all the values what happened oh dict 6 sorry now if you print uh, the dict 6 uh, DICT 6 you get the answer okay uh, another way is to pop items which will uh, pop an arbitrary key value arbitrary means it will not pop uh, it, it can pop in any order it will just pop a key value pair and if you write it like this uh, DICT dot pop 5 it will uh, pop up a specific element if you want to delete a nested uh, dictionary so for example in this kind of dictionary is there a nested dictionary in here yeah there, has, there is a dictionary so let's write it like del then you go in sorry dict 5 6 okay uh, you go in for the first uh, key pair or you, here you go in for the first key and that's b and inside b you have another key called as 2 so you want to delete this basically you want to delete this value called life okay so i'm going to delete this value life and then you enter 2 okay and when you print uh, dict 6b you will get i'm sorry capital p you will get the answer basically okay so there are many more uh, functions uh, with this uh, dictionary that we are going to cover uh, next time in next video basically the second part of dictionary because dictionary is a very large topic so we will be requiring two videos at least to practice dictionary uh, so that's all for today guys uh, thank you for listening uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video so leave a like leave a comment if you have any doubts you can check my git repository for the codes i'm going to update it soon i went to edit the codes from the last two classes i will edit and uh, please leave a like leave a comment containing a doubt suggestion or anything you want to share with me and uh, you can connect with me on linkedin 
and where the the links as well as the references to this video will be in the comment section or oh, sorry the description section so that's all for today uh, thank you for watching